Hi guys, welcome back to Vantage Academy and today we pick on from where we left from the last video. So we managed to change the background of this particular image. So in case you missed on how we got here, how we changed the background, please go into the description. There's a link I put up from the first video, watch the first video, then come to this video. It's going to make much more sense to you. So now in this video, we are going to add some backlight into this image. This is just to give it a complete environmental feeling. We need some lighting uh, to create that ambiance. And right now the background looks flat and it kind of questions if the image was taken on this background. So let's get right into it. So first things first, what we are going to do is uh, go to the shape tool and we are going to access the ellipse tool. Okay. And we are going to draw the shape of the light that we want. I'll go for something a little bit oval, but I'll leave it there. So let's reposition this and then come back to the layer side. Let's put this behind the subject. Great. So with that done, what we can do is also maybe control T, uh, resize a little bit. And press enter so the whole point of this is kind of um, creating a vignetting look um, there are so many ways to do this but I found this to be one of the easiest so now what we are going to do is uh, we'll pick the eyedropper tool which you can access with eye and let's sample the background that we created when that is done since the ellipse tool is still active we're just going to change its fill color to the color we sampled okay with that done, we go to the next step. Double click on the ellipse tool. So we are going to pick a brighter side. We choose a brighter color and I feel this is good enough for me. And we're gonna click OK. Let's convert this into a smart object because we're about to add some filters to it. Okay, so right click on the image and convert to smart object. Done. So now let's go to the filters blur and Gaussian blur I was playing around with this and uh, as you can see the perfect fit is 190 uh, let's set it for 195 and click OK awesome so there you have it guys as simple as that now let's do have a comparison with the old image so before this is what we had it looks good but it's still flat okay so let's activate the backlight that we just created and there we go that's what we have so we can expand this uh, for instance let's control T on the same layer and let's just make it a little bit wider so it spills out all the way enter and there you have it so this can change depending on the look you're going for as for me this is okay and even I can tweak the opacity just a little bit to blend it in further with the backdrop okay so there you have it guys that's how to add some backlight to the subject so thank you guys for watching please do subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get updates every time we have new content now there's so many ways of doing this and please share with me in the comments and let's see how you go about it okay